In a world where we're all striving for perfection, there's a Japanese concept known as wabi-sabi, and it focuses on imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. I love it. So we're going to teach you more about this with my fabulous guests. You may have heard of them, Colin and Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him. He wanted to do big, massive kisses. I kind of, I shied away from that, Tracy. Shied away from that. Yeah, it felt a bit awkward. Like, You're like, we're gonna do the walkout, but we yeah. can't do her kiss. No, right? No. I appreciate it. Maybe next you. time we'll build yeah. to it. Next time, yeah, next time, Colin. Mm -hmm. That's getting my Tracy on. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I love this. I love what we're talking about. I walk into the set, I immediately start feeling way more calm. Uh, what is this technique about, and when did it originate? Okay, so wabi sabi. Okay, it comes from 16th century Japan. So it's been around a while. It's a little been around, while. You know, so you could say it was tried and tested. Yes. You know? But in the 21st century, you know, it's found its place because people are looking for their homes to deliver more. Mm -hmm. You know, they want to get that whole sanctuary feel. They want to feel that something about their home brings out the best in them. Your home should be a clinic, so you're your best self. And I think this is a really nice way to go. Now, back in the 16th century in Japan, there was a tea master. His name was Sen no Riku. Okay. And he would have these tea ceremonies. And he realized that the room, the objects, the whole mood was as important as the tea. And at that moment, Wabi Sabi was, was born. Okay. And it was about embracing imperfection. It was about seeing the beauty in objects. And it was about having a purer experience at home. That's what we want, isn't yes. it? Yes. How much, how much do we talk about embracing the imperfection yeah. on this show? Do. Like, do it yeah. in your decor do as you well. Look at these faces. Mm -hmm. Embra embrace the imperfection. <laughs> That's correct. You've got to look at what you're doing. <laughs> We're going to start by talking about these gorgeous walls. Yeah. Okay, so Tracy, we've gone for a really slow, easy colour scheme. Now, this paint here is called Manchester Tan. It's by Benjamin Moore. Yeah. It's a kind of a beigey colour. Now, I love that. But rather than leave it flat, well, first of all, it's, uh, it's a very, very matte finish as well, so it's not shiny. Mm -hmm. You'll see that as you look around here. There's no glow gloss or sheen, it's really subdued. So a matte okay. finish with, with the Benjamin Moore paint. But to bring it alive, we've taken a wallpaper brush dipped into white eggshell, uh -huh. and then very, very carefully, we've just dragged the brush, the dry tips of the brush, across there to finish. And this whole look for me, Tracy, it's so decompressing, it's so relaxing. Yeah. When you walk in here, you can feel the stresses ebb away. Absolutely, low blood pressure yeah, happening 100%. right now. Is that the brush you use to it do is. the strokes? <laughs> this is the brush that Colin uses for his fake tan, Tracy. <laughs> These temple exactly. brushes are very, very useful. <laughs> Oh, well, I think you find I woke up like this. That's but great, anyway. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about embracing the imperfection. Where do we see that manifest in this beautiful space? You know, that's the thing. I think if there are imperfect things in the room, mm -hmm. you feel more relaxed. I agree. Because everything's not set. You're not on best behavior. Yeah. Little stools over there, they've got little cracks in them, little worn timber Lovely. in there, you know? So it immediately feels friendly. You get a kind of vibe on from that. Yeah. Even the artwork here, you know, these pieces are from HomeSense. And they really are the decor in this room, don't they? They're very yes. commanding yeah. on our unbroken wall behind the bed. But we chose them because they're paper and because they're all handmade. So they're slightly imperfect. Right. You know, they're, it's not like a machine going, ch -ch 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 -ch. it's about people making things and making mistakes because we're all mm. human, you know? So yeah, let's embrace, embrace that. that. And embrace this color palette. Yeah, so always. I just happen to match. <laughs> Coincidentally, the Tracy, it's, it's almost like you knew what we were doing right? today, right? It felt, it almost feels like that. I love it. But there is something so beautiful about having this monochromatic space and yeah. having everything be in these gorgeous oysters and eggshells and oatmeal. Of course, and it's super immersive. You yeah. feel so, so relaxed in here. Now, the keynote to any good bedroom is a bed. Now, all the furniture a you're seeing bed. here today, a good bed is super important. Yes. This bed came from Urban Barn, as, as did the lovely dressers and all so the case goods that you see around about there. A really comfy mattress from Ikea, because obviously mm -hmm. the bed, you spend such a lot of your life in there doing whatever you do. You want to make sure that it's comfortable. <laughs> yes. Now, talk of comfort. Yeah. No head banging in this bedroom, Tracy, because this <laughs> is a really uh, soft... Do you know what? You don't want to disturb the neighbours when you're, when you're reading your book, right? right. When you're busy reading chapter to page. No, no. <laughs> Super soft. So forgiving. Isn't it gorgeous, Tracy? I I, I, there's it. something... I mean, I love all our babies. I love all the rooms that we do. But there's something yes. about this particular... 
aesthetic that just completely makes me feel cleansed. Yes. I'm having there's... a bodily <laughs> cleanse. <laughs> it's I'm the, purging. It's, it's the calmness of not having get a, a ton of eye distraction. Yeah, you right? are on it, Jesse. But <laughs> right? yeah, all, all the furniture that you're seeing here essentially was from Urban Barn. And their wares are just super. The rocking chair, do I have a little go in that? Okay. Honk your bum in that, Mrs. <laughs> Thank you. How comfy, oh. but don't mess up my cushion. Okay, so oh, that's enough, that's enough rocking. Stand back up. So comfortable. Isn't it good? No, this is She's beautiful. Off her it's such, such But it all, I'm off my rocker, but it also looks a little bit aged, a little Doesn't bit it? imperfect. I'm not sick, you know, Tracy. Exactly. It looks as if it's been there for a while. Yes. It looks as if there's a story to be told that it's not been made and shoved in along with 50 other versions. I'll be watching that cushion. You know what to do, Tracy. <laughs> Delicate chop and we're done. Exactly. Okay. Good girl! Nice. Good girl. Now let's exactly. talk a little bit about, um, we've got all these beautiful clay moments and stone moments throughout here. Let's talk about those. Yeah, I mean, one of the great ingredients in Wabi Sabi, you know, is to use natural elements. Yeah. So you want to get wood in there, stone, clay, and no better source than beautiful antique pots. Yes. Now these are by Hower Market, and they have a great website where you can find the stockists right across Canada who carry these beautiful, one-of-a-kind imported uh, pots to Canada. Beautiful. And what we love about these is that they're all imperfect. Mm -hmm. They're all aged. So I like the ones that are unglazed because they look dusty. Yeah, you know? they do. So this is a good look for you. If you don't clean at home, maybe this is your look. A little mm, bit of dust. Vibe. You go, you know what? We're not dirty. We're wabi sabi. That's uh, right. You know, it came from an ancient ruin. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 As did I this morning. <laughs> you know? But get them on your surfaces. And we've got a beautiful wall of pots that there. That is gorgeous. Don't put anything in them. It's about yeah. appreciating the individual beauty of each one. Yes. And then if you've got a few larger pots, put them on the floor. You know, because yeah. then you get this beautiful low-level kind of uh, lifestyle, which is very Japanese. You know, you think of all the low tables sitting on the floor, little cushions, that type of thing. So yeah. suddenly that simplicity comes into play with that as well. And I think what's important, Tracy, as well, to reiterate mm -hmm. what Colin's saying is these are all hand-selected. So when you buy something and take it home to your home, what you have is something that nobody else has got. They might have something similar, kind. but it's a one of a kind. It's truly artisanal, yeah. it's handmade. It looks like there's a passage of time there. Um, now on the subject of passage of time, mm -hmm. what do you reckon of this rug? I love this yeah, rug. Yeah. I love the texture of it. I love the border on yeah, it. Yeah, it yeah. is gorgeous, and I like I like the size of it. Well, do you know what? A nice big rug like this is such an important part of a bedroom because when yeah. you step out of bed, you want somewhere cozy to put your tootsies. Yes. You want to feel really comfy. You're already mad yet to wake up. One like, hundred furious. The alarm clock's got enough snooze button, snooze button. I'm right? busy snoozing and dreaming. Exactly. I'm just going to roll onto the floor on time rug. <laughs> but this, to me, I mean, it looks so handmade. It's 100% wool. It's so have a little feel, Trace. It's so textural. It's so <laughs> utterly gorgeous. You and can it's imagine. Nubby. It is not. I love oh, that I word. Like you that. can imagine some <laughs> very, very elderly weaver standing yes. at a mill and actually pushing that through the machinery bit by bit. The warp and the weft are all yeah. coming together. And then that lovely hand stitch at the end. You don't need a big pattern when you've got this look. It's all about the soft interplay of texture. Absolutely. I love that. Honestly, when I come in here, I feel like I've come home. Yes. I might have a little cry now, Tracy. Oh, but it's no. So, oh, no. Don't, don't get me crying. But it feels so good. I know. Listen. Oh, thanks for... Yeah. I'm like, why don't we all just down, get down, down, down in the bedroom? Why don't we do that? Listen, it's all about minimalism it as well. Um, I feel like you've done a really good job explaining this. And also, look at how it just wants to carry us onto yes, the exactly. ground. Which also makes it so much more oh, casual. Sorry, Lily. I'm all the way down. Exactly. Let's take a break. More City Line coming up. That's so comfortable.